There we go. Hey, Arkansas, how you doing, man? Uh, yeah, we've, we've had a cold day here. It's been snowing all day, as a matter of fact. Uh, doesn't really accumulate, but um, kind of chilly. How you doing tonight, man? Hope you're having a great Friday. All right. Hello, Die Elfin. How are you doing, hun? Good to see you tonight. And welcome everybody to Subnautica once again. And um, so here's the deal. If you guys watched me on Tuesday night, um, you'll remember that I, um, hey Shadow, how you doing buddy? Welcome tonight, man. Um, <clears throat> I found out what was going on with my elevator. I um, had apparently not fully built one of the pieces way, way down. It was like a 98% or something weird like that. I had just released the mouse button too soon. And so that's why it wasn't letting me put the ladder in. Uh, but so I got on yesterday, uh, late last night, just off camera to try and troubleshoot that. And that, that's when I figured out what had happened. So I went ahead and built, uh, built it back up and basically got it up to the surface and uh, attached it to the island but I still want to build the glass part that kind of goes out uh, to see a little ways and so uh, we're gonna do that but I need to get some more quartz so we're gonna do that for the first part of the stream and then um, and then we're gonna get started again with the storyline and resume the build of the Neptune rocket platform which is somewhere in here I haven't even honestly I haven't even looked at it and gosh I don't know how many streams ago because we've been you know doing all this fun side stuff there it is and uh, that actually is not very expensive that's very cheap as a matter of fact uh, to make that so later on in the stream the plan will be to, to get started with this and then <clears throat> I don't know what else I have to do after that I have not watched videos or looked ahead uh, to the ending of this game so maybe after I build the platform the rocket appears and we take off and we're done or maybe I've got to do several more things before that point in time comes I'm just really not sure what's going to happen um, so anyway that's the plan for tonight could come over and play golf with you when you when you started playing golf because I got the alert I was actually driving home um, and I had some other stuff that I had to do before I started streaming. I don't usually start streaming until later on Friday nights. And uh, so I wasn't able to do that. But at some point, I would love to come and play golf with you because I've actually uh, purchased the game um, and played, played it a little bit by myself just to kind of get used to it. So we'll, do, we'll get it done at some point. Absolutely get it done at some point. So, all right, guys. So I'm at the Shallows base. I came back here to see... Um, what kind of quartz I had and it's not very much so I took uh, what I did have and made some more glass and I'm leaving a few in here too oh hey the other thing that I discovered is check this out I actually found the cuttlefish quite some time ago but I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do with it, it turns out the cuttlefish is actually a little pet and so what he does is he just basically follows you around and, and he chills out with you and he, he you can do some fun stuff with him. So check this out. Play with the fish. <laughs> so he's kind of a cute little bugger. And if I get in my... Um, aww. And if I get in my, um, you know, the sub or whatever, he'll just he'll just follow me. And um, I, I don't know if he can get hurt. <laughs> Give him a little doggy treat there. I don't know if he can get hurt or not, but um, he just he'll follow me around in anywhere I go. And so I figured let's bring out Mr. Cuttlefish and have a little fun with him in our late episodes here. Yeah, he's a cute little bugger. <laughs> and I can tell him I can tell him to stay, so if I if I right click, then he'll just kinda hang out in this area until I right click again and tell him to come with me. And then now he'll hang out with me again. So we'll. I, the thing is, though, is once I put him in the water, I can't. I don't know how I could get him back in my inventory. He's pretty much just, you know, there now. So hopefully, you know, he'll be okay if, in case, you know, we got attacked by a reaper or something, um, it wouldn't hurt the cuttlefish. 
So anyway, um, let me turn this music down because we got Subnautica music going on. And uh, we're gonna go grab a little bit more quartz uh, because I think I'm gonna need it. Uh, this is not gonna be enough glass to finish that extension that I want to put out into uh, a little further out into the ocean. So we're gonna go after a little bit of quartz first, then we'll finish that, um, and then we will get started in earnest on the uh, Neptune rocket platform. So Mr. Cuttlefish, he'll just kind of hang out and follow us around. And we are going to go on the search for quartz. Because we're going to need a lot of glass to finish this thing out. Alright, here we go. This might, I don't know, like I said, but this might be our last episode of Subnautica. Our last stream. It's kind of sad. Kind of sad to think about that, but... All good things must come to an end, and um, I figure we're ready to to wrap this thing up. Um, and it's not because I don't want to play it anymore, but it, it's because, you know, I don't know that there's a whole lot more to do after we, um, you know, get that rocket going. What is that? Grand Reef Gate. This is kind of that spire area that we that we ran into. Um, there's a little piece of quartz there. I'd, I'm looking, actually, looking for a, um, a a deposit of it though. Oh, there's a the cuttlefish. How's it going, dude? I hope you know how to stay away from reapers, man. That would suck if you died. Sorry, I kept you pinned up in the cage the whole time. I just didn't know what the hell I was supposed to do with you. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a thing of quartz there. So let's get ahead and jump in the prawn. Let's see, is he unloaded? Yes, he is. Okay. So we're good to go. So we're gonna need... Oh! Dude, don't swim into my drill. What the hell? I hurt the poor little guy. He swam right into my drill. Is he okay? Where'd he go? Are you pissed? It's your fault. Oh, it let me pick him up. <laughs> How come it let me pick him up and now it won't? I don't understand. Anyway, it looks like he's okay. I did actually hurt him a little bit, though. I didn't mean to. Mean old, old guy. Hurting the poor cuttlefish. What the hell's the matter with you, man? <laughs> Might as well grab this stuff for some more, um... Some more titanium, because we never have enough of that. Okay. There's one of those damn uh, mesmers. You guys are bad juju. A little lithium there. I don't want salt. My god, I don't want salt. I have so much salt. This is silver. We don't need silver. Uh oh, we got a tiger plant. Let's get away from him. Some more quartz here. And what's this? Modification station fragment. And we got a tiger plant. Does the tiger plant shoot at the cuttlefish? No, it doesn't look like he does. Okay. Alright, let's hop back in the prawn and finish getting this. Um... Hey! Knock that shit off. Rude. 
let's drink a couple potty bags here. Yum, yum. And then uh, let's finish this out. Okay, cuttlefish, where are you? Stay away from my uh, drill, dude. Where'd he go? Okay. No, no, no! Stay away from the drill. Go away. <laughs> it hurts. Dude, what the hell? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to take him to um, obedience school or something. Awesome, Ty. Very glad to hear that. Did he run into my drill again? A little bastard. Yeah, well done. You we'll have you at an affiliate in no time, no time at all. Watch out. Stay away. Stay away. He did it again. <laughs> okay, devs, if you're watching the stream, I know you're not, but come on, guys. This isn't working. I don't want to kill my cuttlefish the first time I take him out. That is a piece of lithium. We will take that. All right. Is cuttlefish, like, totally pissed now? Where's he at? Wait, it said play with fish, but I don't see him. There he is. You all right, man? Got to stay away from the drill. Okay. Maybe what I maybe I'm supposed to command him to stop following me. I bet you that's what I'm supposed to do when I'm when I'm doing this. I wish I could pick him back up and put him in my inventory though, so he's not just always out. But uh, anyway. All right, let's see how much progress we can make with this amount of quartz that we got. So we're just going to stick all of this in here. Um, that can go in there. The Bourbon Ninja. <laughs> I love the name. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to Subnautica. How you doing tonight? Okay, let's put this titanium in here. That's full. Stick those in there. We'll stick the lithium and the gold in there. I'm going to keep the glass in my inventory. And let's go unload the prawn. I'm doing well tonight. We're doing well. Excited to play some more Subnautica. And a little little sad, too, because this might be uh, the last stream, depending upon how long it takes me. Um, or, or what I, I still need to do after I build the rocket platform. But we are going to be working on that tonight after I finish my... The last part of my sea elevator that I made. Just needed to ran out of glass, so I had to go out and get some more quartz for all that. Do you play Subnautica yourself? Okay, let's see. I have a feeling like we're probably going to need even a little more glass, so let's just kind of. See if we can find at least one more uh, good-sized node of it. Awesome. Have you uh, played the game since it's been released? I sure have been having a good time with it. A lot of fun with this game. There's the cuttlefish. I played it about two years ago. There, there we go. There's some quartz right there. Uh, but at that time, of course, it, it still was... Uh, quite unfinished um, so I got to the point at that point in time where I I built the Cyclops drove around in a little bit and then pretty much was done with the game because there wasn't anything else to do at that moment at that point in time so I was quite delighted 
uh, when they released it and I started playing again and, and you know saw all the awesome new content that they added to it. Okay, so let's tell the cuttlefish to chill out. Where'd he go? I just saw him a second ago. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, you just chill. And stay away from the drill. Because he likes to run into my drill. And then he takes damage. Haven't played in a long while? Okay. Well, if you get a chance, uh, highly recommend it, man. It's, uh, it's a really, really fun game. They added the storyline to it and, and uh, very well fleshed out. I have run, run into a few bugs with it, though, but um, nothing super bad. So we'll mine this up, and then we're going to head back to the, to the uh, floating island and finish out our build. Hopefully we'll have enough glass with this to, to do the rest of it. Now, let's tell this little bugger to follow us. Where'd he go? He's hard to... Oh, there he is. Okay. Come here. Are you coming? There you go. <laughs> okay. Nice, man. Did you, uh, have you, uh, joined up our, on our Discord under a different name? Because I don't remember seeing uh, your name come through. That's really, really cool, though. Glad to have you. All right. So, let's head on over to the floating island. Which should be actually not too terribly far away from here. We'll just surface and then we'll be able to tell where it is. Imperion's a great game. Been playing that one for a long time and uh, just really love it. Was very excited for Alpha 8 to come out. Um, and Elion, the developer, has indicated that Experimental uh, is very close to being released. So as soon as they drop that, I'm all over it. Oh, that's you, Taz. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, I didn't. I, I didn't recognize the, you under a different name there. Well, welcome, man. Good to have you. Yeah, whenever you're ready, come on over, man. We have lots of room on the server, and as as Dialfin can attest to, it's a hell of a lot of fun playing on that server. We had a great stream on Wednesday night. Just really enjoyed uh, playing the game with her and showing her the ropes, and she did really well. Uh, picking up picking up the game really quick, so she's gonna be an old pro here real soon. So what I did is I basically brought um, the elevator all the way back up and everything worked fine, you know, once I figured out what the issue was. I had to do this little cross section here. Uh, let's get this camera out. Uh, because the elevator came right up underneath that I don't know if you would call that a stalagmite or what the hell it is, but anyway, um, that thing. So I moved it over so it would kind of come up in the in the center of the lagoon here. And then um, built. I had to build this tower, and I had to build it that high. It's a, it's a little clunky looking, but there's the only way I could get it all the way up high enough so that I could actually get onto the island itself. So let's see, I'm going to, let's hop out here. Whoa, dude, you're not supposed, what? <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, we'll just, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, so, um, let's see. So basically you can come over here I don't have anything 
inside of these uh you know these little huts here it's just basically all it is is a tower so we can get up here and hop out onto the island there we go it's funny too because it still makes the little <laughs> the little water noise when you get out of the uh you know, get out of the uh, the hatch there, even though we're, we're actually on land. So now I can come over to the island anytime I want to, uh, right through the, the base and do whatever I might need to do. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to finish... Um, we're going to finish this portion here. So if I go down here, of course, this just takes us down to this section. And it's kind of a neat, neat view of the underneath side of the floating island, you know, with the, um, with the bladders and that sort of thing. And um, looks like Sigmund the sea monster. <laughs> yeah. You die fast in what, die? You only died once that whole in our whole playthrough. That, that's not bad at all. If you're talking about Imperion. <laughs> uh, you're going through the the tutorial task. Okay, cool, man. Awesome. Yeah. Imperion's one of those games where, you know, I'll probably always play that game. I, obviously, I'll take breaks from it, you know, once in a while, but it's just one of those games that I, I, I can see myself always playing. Uh, so anyway, this um, this goes down then to the next section, which is, you know, the ladder takes you there instantly, but we're way the hell down now. I mean, super deep. Uh, 352 meters to be precise. And this is down into the, the Grand Reef itself enter scary music and so this is just kind of a place where i hang out make myself a, some crunchy coffee have some doritos and just sit down and enjoy the undersea view uh, whenever i just kind of feel like chilling out um it's too bad though you know that i didn't have like a beer vending machine or something at least we have it in real life though and then if we go we got to eat our chips and our coffee. And then this goes down to the actual base, which is way the hell down in the deep Grand Reef. Uh, 509 meters down. So that's where I just was up kind of through that opening there. Because this is all in a big old cavern underneath the sea here. Uh, half a kilometer down. And this is my main deep sea base. I also have a shallows base. Uh, but this is where this is where it happens, man. This is home, home sweet home, way down here, half a kilometer under the sea. So, um, this is where I park the sub right over the heat vent here to recharge it when I'm home. And we got ourselves a scanner room and a couple of moon bays and uh, just really had a lot of fun building this base and hanging out down here in, in my favorite biome in the game, the Grand Reef. And all of this, you know, I did all of this after I got the cure and found the blueprint for the um, for the for the, the rocket because I just want I didn't want to end the game yet. I wanted to have a little more fun with it, and so we've spent the last I don't know Arcanus how what's it been the last four streams maybe uh, just messing around and just having fun and not really worrying too much about the storyline. But I think that it's time now uh, for us to to resume the storyline and. And get moving and uh, finish this sh finish this out, and that's what we're about tonight. And we'll see how far we go. So let's just pop all the way back up here. Those instant teleport ladders are are really handy, actually. <laughs> we just traveled a half a kilometer in about what three seconds, four seconds. Now hurry back, day. Hurry back. You're gonna raid my base? Okay, why don't you wait till the stream's over first and then you can raid the base all you want. <laughs> all right, let's get started on this. So the first thing we have to do is, well, I do have some glass. And the idea here is I want I want to extend this out far enough um, to where I'm a little beyond, you know, the, um, the floating island. So I have a good, not a 360 degree, but a, a pretty good wide view of the ocean and just, you know, to enjoy the view. And then we'll put another observation uh, module, I guess it is, building, whatever, on the end of that. Let's get this sub out of the way. And besides, we need to make, um, we need to make some glass anyway. Did I pull the 
quartz out of the Cyclops. Dude, what the hell, man? You're not supposed to be on here. Can that, can he like, is this just a glitch or can he actually float around in the air? I, I'm gonna, I wanna say it's a glitch cause he looks to me like he's swimming. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, that's Mr. Cuttlefish. Let's drink these potty bags, make some more room. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn nearly all of this into glass. I have four more pieces there that we'll save in case we need it for a hatch. But let's make a bunch of glass. If, you, if I add water, he multiplies. <laughs> like, uh, what, what did they call those things? I know what you're talking about. They were like these little coral things that you could get when I was a kid. I'm sure you still can get them. And they would actually grow. I always was very fascinated by those things. Gremlins, yep. We got gremlins in the game. me so after I'm done with subnautica I haven't really decided yet uh, what's next I've toyed around uh, and I've mentioned this on in discord to you guys who are on discord with me I've toyed around a little bit with the possibility of doing a, a fallout stream um, and I was originally I was gonna do Tale of Two Wastelands, uh, which combines Fallout 3 and New Vegas together in the same in the same playthrough, and you can go back and forth between um, you know the two the two maps. But I got actually quite a few hours into setting up the mod and started running into a, a severe crash with the game that would not only crash the game but lock up my whole computer and I have to reboot the whole computer. And I just, I don't know at this point if I want to take the time to try and troubleshoot that. Just because, you know, it takes so much time to put that together. So if I if I do decide to do Fallout, I probably won't do Tale of Two Wastelands. I'll probably just do a modded either Fallout 3 or New Vegas or maybe even Fallout 4. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing a poll in the Discord to see which of those three games you guys would like to see me play. Um, I have played all of them <clears throat> all the way through. I've spent the most time, though, in New Vegas because it's my favorite. I played Fallout 3 through exactly one time with no mods, and I played Fallout 4 exactly one time through with no mods. So whichever one I do, I'm going to definitely mod it. Because, I mean, you know, you got you to mod those games. So that's a possibility. I've also thought about um, maybe playing the Metro games. Uh, Metro Last Light. I've got the remastered versions of those. I uh, really love those games. Uh, so that's another possibility. Uh, but I just really haven't decided yet, you know, what's going to happen after Subnautica. So we'll, we'll just have to play it by ear and, and we'll see. You know, did that tell me what our... Uh, what are our structures at? It doesn't. I wonder if I have, have to be under the water to see that. Or is it because... Is it because it's above the water that it's not affecting the structure? Structural integrity? Let's try, let's try something here. Let's go down here. And... Let's remove this portal. Oh, okay, it just showed it there. So we are at 85 now. Oh, we've got tons of structural integrity. Let's try an experiment though, okay? So if I if I take this off, or even if I start to, it says we have well, okay, let's just take it all the way off. And then we'll put it back on. So it says we have 85.9 structural integrity. Let's add a few more pieces 
up here and we'll come back and try that again and see if it's a if you know if it's changing or not because maybe it doesn't since we're above the water not that that makes any actual sense because it still should be affecting it but um, let's just test that theory so what did I say 86.9 I think it was Paul who should smack old guy around <laughs> that's my wife's job dude I don't need both of you smacking me around. So let's add three more of these. Now nah, my wife doesn't smack me around. She's she's a very nice person most of the time. <laughs> ah shit, we ran out of glass already. Okay. Well that that that's actually good enough. Let's just pull this one back off so we don't have any weirdness. So 86.9 is the magic number. Let's see if that has changed since we added those extra pieces. I don't think it has. It still says 86.9. So the game apparently does not register um, any base items that you add that's above the surface of the water. Very interesting. And that's actually a good thing because then we can go, if we wanted to, we go all the way out to the Aurora. Not that we're going to, but um, we don't have to worry about structural integrity coming this far out. All right, so I'm thinking I want to come out a little further than this. Not too much more. Maybe somewhere about to here, I'm thinking. And that gives us a pretty good view of the ocean and the sky and the aurora and the moon or planet or whatever the hell that thing is. But we got to make some more glass. Oh, okay, nice. I was hanging out on, on Pepper's stream uh, the other night. She was playing Seven Days to Die. Yeah, I, 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 didn't need, I didn't know that. I didn't... Uh, are you kidding me? Are we out of... We're out of glass already, you guys. I guess I did put quite a few um, pieces up there, didn't I? All right. Um, shit. Let's go find more quartz. We're gonna, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. You know what I mean? So let's just go find some more quartz. I need some, some chow here. Delicious, bulbo trees. Very tasty. At least I tell myself that, whether it actually is or not is anybody's guess <laughs> okay welcome back die welcome back die are you gonna you should play subnautica I would definitely watch you play subnautica um let's put this piece of glass in here too we don't need to carry that around with us and all right on the hunt for more quartz Let's do it. I don't want to spend half the stream gathering resources. Whoa. Is he in or out? He's in. That guy's kind of creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. Uh, okay, here's the thing. You've, there's got to be a way to put him back in my inventory, but I don't know how I would do it. Can you, can you follow, follow me outside, please, sir? Come on, come with me. It's like he's, he's stuck up on the bridge there. Um. Okay. I think we have a, we must have a little bug here. I wonder if, let's try this. Let's go back inside. Or no, actually, let's not go back inside. Let's save the game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out. No. Okay, I'm going to go out of the sub. Okay, I'm going to log off.
and see what if if the game spawns uh, the cuttlefish back in with me outside of the sub when I come back into the game. If not, that's another bug. This is the first time I've I've messed with the cuttlefish, so I w was wasn't aware of all the the little quirkies quirkiness of it. Sub Jack you. <laughs> Yeah, we could try that too, Widow. Maybe maybe we will. That's not a bad idea. So I don't think I've really looked for quartz down there. <laughs> don't give him any ideas. To activate chemical taste neutralization. Thank you and have a nice day. Oh, that didn't work worth a shit. Okay, stop following. But are you still going to take damage when I start moving? Well, if you do, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it, Holmes. <laughs> He's taking damage. <laughs> We're going to kill the cuttlefish. Did that, like, glitch him out of the ship now? Nope. Aw! What the hell am I supposed to do? I can't do anything about it, except for honk the horn. Okay, we were seeing a metric butt ton of um, quartz along the outer edge of the world. So let's, what's our heading here? Let's head south. And we'll we'll go back to the edge of the map and see if we can uh, find all that quartz that we saw before and didn't really care about because I didn't think I was going to need it all. Run silent, run deep, exactly. So we'll kind of move over this direction. There's a bunch of quartz there. In fact, there's enough quartz there that it probably is worth my while to jump out and grab it. So we shall do that. That's an egg. Don't care about that. I was thinking about Harvesting a couple of these plants and putting them near the base just for the lighting. That, that might be kind of cool. Lots of quartz all over. I don't need a whole bunch more. So I think I'm only going to come out of what, what about maybe four or five more of those extensions. And then we'll be good to go. What we'll do is we'll go, we'll head over uh, towards the base down there. And like Widow said, we'll put the, um, the scanner on. And just kind of see, you know, how how much we actually have around. You know, the other thing too is I, I never actually upgraded to the second level of of range on that thing. Might as well pick these up since they're right here. I have no idea. Like I oh, there's some quartz right there. I have no idea, like I said, if um, there's there's another piece there too. Awesome. Okay. What all I'm gonna need to build the rocket? Uh, the platform itself is really not that bad. Um, pretty easy peasy resources for that. But I don't know if there's several stages to that, or if you just build the platform and the rocket automatically appears and you fly off into the sunset, or what? But we'll find out though. If all goes well, that's. We will know that by the end of this stream tonight. 
Okay, I think I saw that stuff down over this way. Yeah. Okay, let's park here for a second. Did our cuttlefish glitch out, or is he still on the ship, or did we kill him? <laughs> Maybe he's dead. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, wait, no, no, old guy, you're going the wrong way. Better be careful, or... Widow, Widow's gonna play uh, having an old guy moment. Lag city. Oh, good. I was going to actually talk to you about that too, Die. Because I noticed that your Imperion stream uh, VOD wasn't there. So I'm glad you figured that out. What did you do about. Um, What did you do, Di, about the um, playing friends with golf? Did you just have to change your live view back to the golf window? Or did you figure out how to get the full screen app to work on whatever's active? Uh, you want to type exclamation point OG commands, Widow. And the sound command is sounds uh, with an S. Guess what, hun? You figured out how to get it to use the active window, or you had to set it specifically to the golf game? Oh, okay. Alright, well, at least you know how to do that now. I don't know enough about slobs, you know, that's Streamlabs OBS, um, to to give you any other other information other than that. I've always Looks just used like I'm having an old guy <laughs> moment. <laughs> I'm not though, man. I'm not having an old guy moment. Um I've always used OBS, you know, so I, I'm just not familiar with it. We are I am having an old guy moment because I'm out of inventory space. You were right after all. Widow, even though I don't want to admit it. Alright, so let's pick that up. And we'll unload this guy to make some more room. Okay, good. All right, cool. Just turn this stuff into glass right now. How long did you guys play the golf game? Yeah, you should be fine. I I still think I mean it, it should be able to pick up whatever your your active full screen application is though. And it does have an option for that. It's just not working for some reason. So it's something you might consider investigating, you know, just YouTube it or something, or YouTube it, Google it. And uh, see, if, you know, if there's a, a known issue with that or some way you can get that to work. That way you don't have to change it every single time. Not that it's a big deal, but you know what I mean. All right, let's put this stuff in here. This is the miscellaneous thing. We'll drink a potty bag. And then we'll go unload the uh, prawn. And we'll convert all these to glass as well. Two and a half hours, nice.
Let's make one more piece. Now, I think when I make the um, observation, I just need, yeah, I already have two enameled glass made up for that uh, right here. And we just need that and one titanium, so we should be in good shape for that. Oh, you got a raid. Nice. Cool. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure to help you out. We had to get you in the game anyway, so... Okay, uh, let's see. Where are we at? Our base is right down there. Let's just pop down there and do a quick scan. And see uh, how much more quartz we might have around. I have a feeling like, though, I probably have enough. But we might need some for the rocket, too, so we might as well get a little surplus. But that that's... Yeah, but you can just, you can tell it to do that. That's a, something you can configure. And I, I don't do that just because... You know, I can just pull the VODs right off of Twitch afterwards. And because I I play and stream on the same computer, it, it kind of taxes my machine if I do that as well. Old guy's going to need to get an, a, a new setup here fairly soon. Not going to happen tomorrow, but I'm running on a, a bit of an older machine here. But it's been a good computer. I built it about... I don't know, four or five years ago. And it's, it's served me very well. Alright. Um, oh, scanner room. I'm going to go check the scanner room out. Let me... Did I turn the power off? Yeah, let's cut that so we can do a little bit of recharge while we're here. So is my cuttlefish like toast? I don't see him around anywhere. He must have he must have succumbed to getting banged around inside the sub. But he wasn't supposed to be in there in the first place. Damn it. I don't imagine that's a renewable <laughs> resource, so to speak. Um He's probably gone for good. That sucks. But, uh, you know, what can you do about it? I'm such a bad person. I'm a, cu I'm a cuddle kish filler. Cuddle kish. Cuddle fish killer. All right. Quartz. Do we have quartz? Yes, we do. Let's see how much quartz we have. One piece there. Oh, wait. What's the difference between the blue and the orange? Probably one's a small and one's a big piece. That would be my guess. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. What do I need to make... Another upgrade, a scanner room range upgrade. Copper and magnetite and silver, ore, and gold. I think it would probably, since these stack, it would probably be more useful to make two more of these. So let's do that. I'm not, I'm not re, uh, making more water right now. I have so much water, you guys. It's just nuts. I got water in there. All three of these bins are packed full of water. And now that I have the still suit, I'm not even using it that much, you know, because I'm drinking potty water because it's so damn tasty. Um, okay, so copper and magnetite, right? That's what we needed. We'll grab two coppers. 
Um, grab two magnetites. And we have to make that up here. Old guy can confirm or deny it. Confirm or deny what, homie? <laughs> I can't I can't confirm if you ran OBS and recorded to your hard drive as well. I I, I wouldn't doubt that you did that, but <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so we just increased the range significantly uh, on this thing. My guess is, and I could be completely off my rocker. But my guess is that the two blue ones here are big ones. Like, you know, that I have to mine, and then these are the little guys. That's my guess. Let's run out in the camera real quick and see if we can confirm that. So it was saying, well, I don't see, I'm not sure where those two big blue ones are supposed to be, though. Because everything I'm seeing is up above, right? Huh. And those are, you know, those are a fair distance away. I wonder too if there, if, when you if you when you increase the range for the scan, if it also increases the range for the camera drone. I would think that would be the case, but who knows? Okay, no, see, this is a this is a big one here, right? And what do we have up here? And that's a little one. So I don't know what those two blue dots mean. Oh, I know what those are. Those are my cameras. Those are my cameras. That makes sense. Okay. It takes me a while, but I usually figure it out. I usually figure it out. You got into Discord? Awesome, dude. Well, welcome to the Discord channel, man. Glad to have you. I, I thought you had already joined up, but, but I guess not. Is um, Bur Bourbon Ninja just an alt of yours, or? So I have um, I actually have a couple alts too that, I, but I mostly just use them for testing. Uh, the stream and stuff. Yeah. So these two blue dots, um, those must be the cameras. That's a pretty decent um, run of um, quartz, though. Well, let's head on out. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. What we'll do is we'll head on up with this with the sub. We'll grab some more of that corpse, and then I'll just I'll just come back down here uh, via the elevator to turn the scanner back off when we're when we're done with that. So let's go over this way to get turned around. We'll swing by the Degasi base. And the coolest location that you can put a base. We got a good spot though. I like I like where where we're at. Can't complain too much. That's a lot of quartz. I don't know why the game bothers putting a proximity alert on the sub, because you don't take any damage when you crash into stuff. At least I, I haven't. Alright, so there's three pieces right down there. So let's grab those.
I've got a I've got a four terabyte external. Well, mine's actually an internal hard drive that I archive uh, stuff to. I don't record to it. I I record to SSD, but I archive my videos and stuff to to the hard drive. Okay, so these are all just little guys. So let's grab them. When I first started doing YouTube videos, I was using a program called DX Tori, and um, it made massive AVI files, like huge AVI files. And um, so, you know, I was running out of space, so I had to I had to buy another. I already had, you know, a, a pretty good sized hard drive, and I filled that all up, and then I had to buy another one. But then, as soon as I switched over to OBS, I I was able to record directly to MP3 because uh, DX Tori is not capable of doing that, and I didn't want to mess around with muxing and all that kind of baloney. And you know the file size went down significantly. I really like OBS. I mean, it, it you know it has problems like anything does, but f for the most part, it's a really nice program, particularly considering how much it costs, <laughs> which is nothing. Okay, let's grab some more here. Put this extra in here. And we'll drink a potty water. You uh, stream with OBS too? Nice. Well, when you get set up, um, definitely let us know, and we'll come in. What the hell? I'm not even gonna ask. Uh, we'll come and we'll come and watch you, man. I'll send you a follow and check you out. What games are you planning on streaming when you get started? and hit these. All right, I'm thinking that's probably enough. I think that's probably enough for us to uh, accomplish what we what we need to do tonight and if it isn't we'll come back okay cool man it's a little toasty right through here <laughs> gonna put the rest well actually let's just make the rest of it into glass that's what we'll do I'm kind of bummed out that we lost the cuttlefish but we lost it to a bug or maybe it maybe it's just glitched out somewhere and it will magically reappear one day. I can always hope, right? Um, let's put this in here. Okay, back to the floating island. Make a quick stop at the elevator and we'll turn that scanner off so it's not uh, clogging up. 
cluttering up our HUD. Is that something we can actually turn off in here, now that I think about it? Beacon manager. Uh-uh, doesn't look like it. You know what we could do, though, is we could turn off... That's already off. Uh, we could actually turn all of this stuff off. We can always turn it back on if we need it for any reason. Clean up the HUD a little bit. Wait a minute. I do want... I guess I don't have a beacon at the deep sea base. So let's turn one of the camera drones back on. That way we know where it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries, man. Play play some of that golf game with Dai. It's a really fun game. At some point, I want, I want to try and play it with her, too. That's just... My schedule is so busy, though, uh, you know, and it's it's and it's just getting worse because, as you guys know, you know, I've, my work responsibilities have increased. I didn't even get home till like 6:30 tonight because I had a couple of conference calls I had to be on and all that kind of stuff. So it's just, you know, real busy, real real busy. And also, just so you know, too, I had mentioned in. Um, a discord that I was thinking about not doing YouTube anymore and I just I don't know I just kind of didn't feel like that was the right move to make so I've decided to put that decision on hold for now and just kind of see how things go um, so I did actually record a YouTube video and I'll get that posted up because the thing is, is I, I really like doing YouTube videos it's fun you know to make a YouTube video and to edit it and you know do edited content too it's just it's really it's a, a matter of time more than anything else just not having time to do everything anymore and if i had to give something up i would give up youtube before i would give up twitch but maybe we can work it out to where i don't have to give it up just have to pace myself better to put up infrequent videos than no videos right Play Rage with friends? <laughs> yeah, you are such a troll. But we love you anyway. Alright, well it's kind of cool to know that I can put I can put these things on until the cows come home and I don't have to worry about SI. It sure is weird though that it totally tanks the frames. See, watch this. See, my frames are like way in the gutter now. But as soon as I rotate it this way and attach it, then it's fine. It's really bizarre. Okay, how far out are we here? This would be our observation deck here. Let's go out just a little bit more. You can play Reg with friends, Dai. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know, that's also a possibility, Arcanus, but, you know, even doing that's a, a significant amount of work, though. Um, and that reminds me, I've got several FODs that I need to get on YouTube because they're getting close to the 60-day point at which uh, Twitch will will remove them because they'll, they'll only keep the VODs for 60 days. All right, I think this is far enough. Let's go ahead and put our observation deck down. Oh, we left the enamel glass back in this in the sub. Let's go grab that. So we need two pieces of enamel glass of enamel glass, and we need one titanium to build that. Let's also grab some more titanium because we're going to want to put 
um, some stuff in there. Oh, you know, something just occurred to me. It would probably be useful to have a, a hatch out on this end. Which means, then, that we're either going to need to put in an X piece or a normal tube and put the hatch on the normal tube. And since I'm not planning on attaching anything else, I think the normal tube makes the more, most sense. So let's take this back apart for a second. Ah, crap. I'm not going to have enough room. Um. All right. Well, let's just go put a couple of pieces back away. Not in there. Yeah, so, so I think I'm going to keep YouTube going for now. Um, definitely, you know, not going to be real frequent videos, but um, I'll just keep going and we'll, and we'll see how, you know, how the workload goes on the job and how the time goes and how my energy is and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is going to be a normal compartment. So we can put a hatch on it. And now we'll put the observation deck on the end of this. And we'll put a hatch right here, except for we need quartz for that. Damn it. Oh. Always something, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Dog's got to go out. Uh, what am I here for? I'm here for one piece of quartz for a hatch. Are you forgetting something? Yeah, <laughs> I knew I knew one of you were gonna do that. <laughs> How funny is that? Welcome aboard, Captain. This is pretty cool looking, huh? It'd be even cooler if it had a glass floor, but neat. Okay. And welcome to the observation deck. Is it going to play the music? Yep. Every time you enter one of these, it, it cues a, a little bit of, of wondrous background music. Okay, Dielfin. What are we going to put in here for furniture? Help me out. Um... I was thinking we could put a... Where, do we have a bench? we got a desk. A wall shelf. Isn't there a, a bench in this game? Oh, yeah, right there. That's a bench. Yes, it is. Well, I guess there's not much point in doing a bench since I'm the only living... Well, not the only living, but the only human on the planet. So, I think a command chair is probably what we want, right? So let's flip this around. That takes a while. Make sure it's more or less square. Okay. And we will put our command chair right there. So we can hang out, enjoy the sky, the blue sky, the aurora. And just kind of chill out on the surface whenever we want to come up here and get away from the depths. We can even see our our shallow space way over there. It's the part that pokes up out of the water. Kind of cool. All right, what else? What else could we put in here? A picture frame. Um, can I put a picture frame here? I don't really want to block the view, right? So that's not going to work. 
And that won't look good. I'll put one here, I suppose. Copper wire. Okay, well, we'll have to do that later then. Uh, let's see. We don't need a trash can. We don't need a nuclear waste disposal. Hello, everybody. My name is Martin Blair, and welcome back to Subnautica. <laughs> oh, it won't, it won't let us uh, activate him while we're sitting in the chair. Have I not scanned the bobblehead? Oh, I have. Okay. It just turns him back into titanium. An end table? You see a hamster? <laughs> a hamster ready in the big ball? Well, if the cuttlefish would have lived, we could have done that. Ooh, what about a wall planter? What do I need to make a wall planter? You guys see titanium in my inventory? You do. See, that's titanium. Oh, never mind. I don't know why it wasn't letting me finish it. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that's kind of weird, yeah. Okay, you want to know if there's an end table. Let's see, we got a wall shelf. We have a bar table. A counter. And a desk. And a wall shelf. How big is the counter? I don't know what we would why what we would do with it. Um How big is this table? Here we go. Let's do this. Let's put the table here. And that way I can set my drink on the table when I'm relaxing and chilling out. How's that sound? Right? We're just hanging out here. We put our beer on the table as we enjoy the scenery. You like that? Looks Cost like I'm having an old guy <laughs> moment. <laughs> that, I didn't have an old guy moment. You can't run that command unless I have an actual old guy moment. Okay, coffee machine. What do we need of that? Two titaniums. Okay, uh, let's put the coffee machine right here. You look like you could use some coffee. I love that dude's voice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, crunchy coffee. Um, we could put a wall shelf in here. I don't know why. Doesn't want to fit here though. But it'll let me fit, put it right over the hatch. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. Um, that might look kind of weird. Okay, forget that. A planter? Yeah, we could put we could put some flowers in here, couldn't we? That's a good idea. Um, how about the cheek plot? Where do we want to put it, though? I don't want to put it anywhere where it's going to block the view. I suppose we could put it right there, but if we do that, am I going to? Is it gonna make it around it okay? Yeah, let's not put it there. What about here? What kind of plant do we want to put in it though? It can't I don't want it to be a tall plant. 
because we don't want it to block our view, you know what I mean? Next to the table in door. Right here, Arcanus. Let's see what that looks like. Which one of these do you guys like the best? The basic, the composite, or the cheek? I kind of actually like the composite. Right there, potato plant. Oh, I'll tell you what, Di, let's do this. Let's let's go up into the island, and there's all kinds of plants up here, and let's pick something that looks cool. That's quite the run. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We've got a Jaffa cup. Oh yeah, one of these uh, Ming the Merciless vase plants would look kind of cool. Let's grab one of those as a possibility. The hamster found the tunnel. <laughs> There's a grub basket. Oh, look at this die. Pink caps. They're pink. We could we could do one. Try that. Let's grab that. So we got the vase option. We got the pink option. What else is around here? Voxel shrub's kind of cool. Oh shit! This gonna be a whole bunch of those. I kind of like the voxel shrub. Uh, what else? We don't want to do a bulba tree because that's pretty tall. This would be cool if this was an actual actual harvestable plant, but it's not, unfortunately. This little red fern here, or green fern with the red um, tips on it, that would be neat. These trees look really cool at night too, by the way, uh, which is almost becoming. Sounds like there's rocks falling somewhere. Don't give Black Widow any ideas about pink paint. You'd be surprised. You, you give that guy some pink paint and disaster happens. <laughs> yeah, Die Elephant's going to get back on the server and my whole base is going to be pink next time I log in. Well, oh, hey, there's these two. Okay, so we got um, Speckled Rattler. We don't need all of these. Let's just grab one of each. Okay. That's good enough. Let's just run with that. I like this grass, you know, that has like the loops in it. That's so cool looking. There's a, the little details of this game have really impressed me. It's just a little stuff, you know. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so we have Voxel Shrub, Pink Caps. Purple Rattlers or Ming Vase. So let's go ahead and uh, make some more planners here. Whoops. So we'll put one here. And let's see. We could put one. That kind of sticks out, doesn't it? A little bit. Let's put another one back over here where we had one. 
Maybe right about there. Uh-oh. Out of titanium. All right, I'm thinking let's put the main plant in here because it's kind of tall. That way it won't block our view. Um, in this one, let's put the speckled rattler. And then I'm going to have to run back down to the ship and get, or to the sub, and get some more titanium to finish this out. Walmart's the best place. <laughs> yep. Black Widow's Walmart. Captain, all systems online. Let's put this glass back in here. And uh, like I said, not, not a bad thing to have a surplus of that. What was that I was trying to make that needed copper wire? It was the um, the picture, right? Um. Yeah, just copper wire. Okay. Let's move this back a little bit too. Uh, we'll go right about there. All the pink. So do you guys know, does this green wall do anything? Like, does it grow plants or something, or? I'm not sure if I like that. Actually, what I'm thinking is, instead of doing that, Okay, why isn't it letting me take it all the way back down? Oh, I know why. What the hell? Finish. I'm trying to finish deconstruction. Stupid game. <laughs> Damn it! All right. Uh, let's see. Let's put the pink cap in here. All oh, right. We can put a bunch of plants. Okay. If that's the case, then let's put all of this stuff in here. Oh, it's not going to let me take it back out. That's right. Oh, man. What the hell, game? Now it won't let me rebuild it either. It's completely stuck. Yeah. You don't think it grows anything? Okay. Well, it's definitely not going to grow anything now. Here. Let's save. Buggy game, man. I don't know if all this weird stuff that I'm experiencing... Let's just go all the way out. Is, you know, just because I built such a large elevator and the game's kind of having a little trouble with that? Or... Uh, I don't know. I haven't really seen a lot of major bugs until the last couple of episodes when we started working on that elevator. I think I've seen those walls in um, some of the abandoned bases and, and I don't think they had anything growing out of them either except for just the ivy itself Still suit equipped and Warning, emergency power only Oxygen reduction offline Too many sound bites all at once You have chosen the 
chosen not to activate chemical taste and neutralization. It's Power restored. Have a nice All primary day. systems online. It's still not letting me take it down. And every time I hit the button, it's incrementing too. What the hell is that even supposed to mean? Finish deconstruction of attached components first. What am I supposedly deconstructing? Oh man, I don't know what the hell it's doing. Well, I guess it's gonna have to stay that way. Unless you guys have any suggestions for me. Just gonna sit down, enjoy the serene sea, watch the big gigantic planet go across the sky. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Time to build a rocket, you guys. I don't know what to do about this, so we're going to leave it because I don't know what to do about it. What if we... Yeah, see, it won't let me... Finish deconstruction of attached components first. I'm trying to deconstruct, stupid game. That's what we're going to call it. It's a shimmering hollow screen. It's supposed to look that way. We're going to call that, call it good. I'm just checking to see if I, you know, maybe it accidentally tried to, to take this part down, but I don't see any, any evidence that it's, you know, partially coming back apart, so. Welcome aboard, Captain. See, now it's not even doing anything when I hit the, the Q button. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. Let's build a rocket, you guys. It is time to build a rocket. So. Welcome aboard, Captain. All what we need to line. do this task is we need uh, we need to find it first there it is two ingots a computer chip and four lead um, let's go down to the base Actually, hold on. Let's do this. I I don't know if I have um, coral down at the uh, deep sea base. I'm pretty sure I got everything else, but I don't have coral. So I'm going to take the elevator down real quick to check that. And if we don't, then we'll, we'll cruise over to the shallows base and get some coral over there. Very handy, I have to say. Whoop. And then climb down again. There we go. And we're down here. How cool is that? All right, so what are we looking for? We are looking for a processor. Do I possibly have one already made? Nope, but I do have an ingot there. Oh, I do have one made. Look at that. <laughs> I knew I was going to need it someday, and so I made it in advance. There's two ingots. And we need four lead. We have some on the sub, but we have an ab abundance of it here, so we might as well just grab it from here. Uh, whilst we're here, let's get some food. 
Hey, numbnuts, check your chat. <laughs> no, Black Widow. That's only if I'm not paying attention to chat and someone's trying to ask me a question. Um. <laughs> Especially the numb nuts command, man. No, I'm just teasing. Have fun with them, man. That's what they're there for. Okay. Um, so we should have everything for the platform. So let's head back up. Le Elevator. Climb up. That is so cool, man. All right, so, um, why don't we build this thing? I'm assuming it floats. I don't know why I'm assuming that. Maybe I'm completely off my rocker about that. Um, but let's see if we can build it. I don't know, maybe out here. I don't even know how big it is. All right. Rocket platform. Rocket platform. Oh, how do I build it? Oh, mobile vehicle bay. Right, okay. That is at the shallows base. So we are gonna have to go back there. Okay. Engine powering up. Thank you, Dive, for the cheer. Really appreciate that. Very kind of you, hun. Very kind of you. <laughs> And you have a good night. We'll see you, uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. And definitely looking forward to playing uh, more Imperion with you next uh, Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah. So we are heading this direction. And since we are, uh, we have to go over here anyway, we might as well just build the rocket platform over here too. Uh, but like I said, I don't have any, I don't know how big this thing's going to be. Good night. We'll see ya. Have a good sleep. If you guys are wondering, by the way, too, why I'm wearing a, a, uh, a stocking cap, it's because it snowed here all day. It's been cold in Colorado today. Didn't really um, accumulate because it hardly ever does, but uh, it was definitely got cold. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good to know, Arcanus. You, I, I would expect it to be for sure. So maybe maybe it's a deal where you know we started in the shallows and we end in the shallows. Okay, so we'll leave Sai right here, Engine down. since he's still at 100% anyway on power. Otherwise, I'd take him over and park him over the thermal vent. Very nearly did park him over the thermal vent. I <laughs> didn't even mean to. Okay, so let's go grab our 
vehicle bay. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, what did I do with that? It's probably in here. Nope, it's not in there. I would have thought it would have been in there. Uh, maybe it's in one of these guys then. Whoa. Not in there. Not in there. Do I have it deployed somewhere? But for sure, I picked it up. I don't think I... Did I take it down? Oh, you know what? Maybe it is at the deep sea base. Because we did build a sea moth over there. I'll bet you that's where it's at. How expensive is that bugger to make? Uh, requires an ingot and a lubricant. I have an extra ingot here. And I probably have a lubricant here. What else does it need? A power cell. Hmm, I've got a bunch of power cells back at... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's just make another one. We'll keep one at both, both bases. That way, if we ever need it, um, we'll have it in both places. We probably won't, but you never know. I abandoned the poor life pod. <laughs> I didn't abandon it. It's still there. I use it as a landmark when it doesn't glitch out on the stream. Biophysics01, thanks for coming and hanging out on the channel. Have I explored the caves in Vince? In Vince and under the Green River itself? I don't know. You're not talking about the lava zone, are you? Because we've been down there, of course. What do you mean? What do you mean by caves and vents? Because I think there might actually be uh, a couple, at least one, maybe even two more sanctuaries that I haven't come across yet. That would be kind of cool to do that. All right, so let's see. What the hell are you doing here? You're not supposed to be over here. Huh, that's weird. I have no idea why a, why a bone shark would be here in the shallows. I, I raised a sand shark at one point and let it go, but I didn't, I never raised a bone shark. That is bizarre. Okay. Whatever. He better keep his distance. Okay, so let's take this thing out. I don't know. Let's build it on the other side of the observation platform. Just because. Okay? We'll come out this way. Let's launch that. Um, oh, I got to put it on my, um, down here to properly launch it. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. Neptune escape rocket. Launch platform. Oh, yeah, that's big. Doesn't take those little little drones very long to make it, though, does it? Uh, 
That's cool. I should have done this in the in the daylight. Check it out. Okay. So this is the uh, the panel then that's going to tell me the other stuff that I need to build the rocket. Neptune Gantry. This is cool. Okay. So we need an a uh, plasteel, a copper wire, and a lubricant. Okay. We have the copper wire there. And we should be able to make the plasteel easy, easily enough. If you see pink-eyed peeper that leaves a gold trail, grab and keep it alive in lockers for a bonus at the end of the game. Plus, fill the rocket with stuff if you clear. Fill the f fill rocket with stuff if you clear. You depart, you get a bonus in the next add-on. Oh! So you're saying anything that I put in the rocket, I will have with me when I when we do the the um, the Arctic DLC. Is that what you mean? That's that's interesting because who who would have known that you know who would have who would have because you figure once you have the rocket, you're out of here and the game's over. So why bother stocking it up? Oh. Yeah, I did miss your first note. Okay, letting know that what you put in the time capsule is for you when you get the next new Arctic Zone update. So put in what you want to keep when you play. Okay. I'm assuming that I'm going to, at some point, I'm going to get a time capsule as a part of this rocket building process because I don't have a time capsule at this point. That's all interesting information, though. I'm curious, dude. I'm curious about these vents that you were talking about. Um, what? Where's all that stuff at? Because, I mean, I, I'm far enough along in the game and close enough to the end that I'm not really too worried about spoilers now. So if you want to just tell me, I'm cool with that. Um, all right. What are we coming here for? We need... Does it tell us what we need here? Yes, it does. Okay. So we need a plasteel. Uh, that should be easy mode. Where is my crafting room? Um, lithium. Two lithium, to be precise. We have two of those right there. Okay, so the time capsule is is going to happen uh, when I build the rocket, apparently. And lubricant. This is really cool. It's too bad we lost the, the cuttlefish, though. That's a bummer, man. Okay, here we go. Nice music. Resourceful little fellers. All 
Almost there. Awesome, we have our very own gantry. Just what we always wanted. Cool. Okay. What's this? Fall elevator. Let me guess, we have to build the elevator. Oh, there's supposed to be four places I can get the cuttlefish egg from. Okay, that's good to know. I've only found one place. Neptune boosters. Another plasteel, a nickel, and an aerogel. It's going to tell me in here what I need, right? It is. Okay. I might have all that up here. If not, we might have to run back down to the deep sea base. We have enough stuff in here. In fact, let's actually move. Let's move this over closer to the the platform itself. Engine powering up. Because I have some stuff on the sub here too. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Like everything else in this game. Okay, so we'll put this up right here. Yep, I remember them telling me I owe all that money to uh, um, Altera. So you owe three million uh, to who you work for. If you clear that, you get bonus. And in Green River Zone, there are tunnels under the green water. Okay. We'll have to go back down there before we actually take off then. How much... Yeah, I've opened all the star guts. How much... Um... How much is a, is one diamond worth? Does the game tell us that? Okay. So we need to make another plasteel. Let's grab all of this titanium here. And it also wants us to make an... How many aerogels did that say? Two aerogels. So we need two of those. Uh, let's grab that lithium too, even though I have a couple more on the in the base. Uh, we're gonna need two silver for a wiring kit and I got a bunch of nickel in the base too Okay So let's make the wiring kit surprise. It's not doesn't want an advanced wiring kit Or does it Nope, just a normal wiring kit Okay So basically you're saying I should load up the ship with diamonds, right? Or should I also take, um, you know, other stuff that I might need to use, like, as supplies when I start out? You know the answer to that question? Uh, okay, plasteel. 
I need two lithiums for plasteel. Oh, we're gonna need all this nickel too. Or three of them anyway. Let's grab three of those. We need two arrow shells. Don't have any in there. Okay. I don't I, I've I've walked around in, in the Green River. Uh, you know, cause it's it's kinda deep in some places in the prom, but I don't I don't know that I've I don't remember finding actual tunnels down there. Though like I said, the one thing that I'm not sure about is if I have wait a minute. Oh, I know what I did. I replanted the plants, not the seeds. Um. Um, like I said, the one thing I'm not sure about is if I have found all the sanctuaries. We kind of stumbled across one the other night. Uh, by accident, I wasn't even looking for it, and I just found it. It was inside this big crater with a big meteorite in the middle of it. It would be kind of cool to find another cuttlefish egg and take that with us, but I'm a little pissed about that because I lost the cuttlefish due to a game bug, not to anything I did wrong. It's a little irritating. I mean, pissed is a little bit of a strong word. I'm not pissed about it. It just kind of sucks is all. Uh, all right, Aerogel. Okay, do we have everything now for the boosters? We do. Look at that. Huzzah. Let's go make some boosters. Which way are we going? This way. I found the cuttlefish in the Lost River area. Over by, by, you know, where all those roots are. It was some kind of a, like, laboratory kind of place. Oh, wow, this thing's going to be huge. Well, relatively speaking. Check it out. By the way, we are actually in the 25th century in this game. I found that out. Very cool. How awesome is that? Okay, what's next? Let's see. Fuel reserve. Two ion power cells, crystalline sulfur, four kyanite, and another plasteel. Um, okay. The power cells will have to go back. Well, I think we'll have to go back to the deep sea base. I got a bunch of cubes down there. I don't know how many cubes I have here. Let's go look. I don't have any cubes on the sub because I took those out and put them in the deep sea base when I did a bunch of organization. We're running out of titanium again. See, I need... What's that? Six, eight, ten. And we're probably going to... We might run out of lithium, too. It keeps wanting plasteel. 
But you know what? I might actually have a, a surplus of lithium in my overflow um, crates. We'll have to check that out. Oh, where am I going? Make the HUD chip and just fill rocket with a mix. There's a lot of room, but the green cubes will be a big deal in the new zone. Oh, okay. How do you know all this? Is that, you know, public information or you got an inside line or what? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate you telling me that. Um, I was just curious how you know it all. Um, potty water. Okay, so let's go back in here. Okay, so, um, we are looking for lithium. There's lithium right there. Some diamond. There's a crystalline sulfur. Oh, yeah, we do have lithium. I thought maybe we did, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so what do we need? We need four kyanite. Oh, right. We were going to see if we could make ion power cells here. We might have enough cubes for that. I just don't remember. There's all our there's all our sulfur, and I've got a bunch of kyanite in here. So that gives us our four kyanite. Let's make the plasteel. In the Stargate Atlantis universe, I did not know that. I did not know that I was in that universe. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We are needing... We got everything but the ion power cells. I don't have any cubes in there. No cubes in there. Hmm. I think we're going to have to head back to the deep sea base then because I have cu I definitely have cubes there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to head back down there. Um I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have any of those in the wall lockers. Let's just double check that though. A little more titanium, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back down there. Which we can do, no big deal. There's more of that stuff. Okay, so let's put um, all of this stuff in a holding spot for the moment. We'll stick it all in the bottom of this this uh, chest. So it's ready uh, for when we come back. Well, I guess not in the bottom, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we need to go get stuff for uh, two ion power cells. And besides the cubes, what else do we need for those? Let me take a look here. Oh, just silicon rubber. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. No, two ion batteries and silicon rubber. So for the batteries, we need gold and silver. Um, so we need to make four batteries. I don't think I have a huge quantity of gold and silver in the deep sea base. Well, let's just grab the cubes and bring them back here. We'll make we'll make it up here. That's what we'll do. And we just need four cubes in total. That's easy. Okay. Oh, 
That's really cool, man. Very cool. That, uh, that, uh, I'm jealous, man. What a fun privilege to be able to, to help do that. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you telling me all this information because there's no way in hell I or most other people would ever know that. <laughs> so it's kind of cool to have, it, have an inside line there. Um, and it's in the Stargate universe, huh? That, that's amazing. Is there any particular reason for that, or is it just for the hell of it, or... Really cool, though. Oops. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's save. We haven't saved in a while. Um, Bio, why don't you whisper your, um... Thank you, man, for the follow. Greatly appreciate that. Why don't you whisper me your, uh, or Arcanus, uh, or Widow, uh, their mods, uh, whisper us your, your Twitter link, and we'll post it in chat, um, and I'll definitely come over there and give you a follow for sure. Uh, okay, so I guess we're heading back to the Grand Reef base. To get cubes. Engine powering up. I'm definitely going to be uh, restreaming this uh, when the Arctic Zone comes out. Looking forward to that for sure. All right, we need to head south. What, what is our heading west? Um, so we need to go this way. Okay. And actually, what we'll do is we'll just go to the elevator, and then I'll, I'll go down to the base that way, because it's so much faster. That's not the reason I built it, but uh, it's a, a nice little side benefit. What am I running into? Oh, <laughs> I was hitting the rocket platform. Oh, that's a cool view. Check that out, you guys. Very neat. Hi, Dan. How you doing, bud? Hey, Bio, do you know what the name of this planet is? Have they told you that? I've, I've often wondered that, you know, playing the game here. Where the hell am I going? We should be heading towards the floating islands, which are right over here by the, this cloud. No, yeah, right? Yeah, this should be, I think, over here. I should probably put a beacon over there so I know where the hell I'm going. How you doing tonight, Dan? Or I guess it's morning for you. It's Saturday. I haven't talked to Seriously Stressed Gamer. Um, but I'm hoping that uh, we'll, we'll be doing Seven Days to Die later on today. Looking forward to that. Oh, this is where I'm going. There's the base down there, but it's a half a kilometer down in the deep Grand Reef, so... Like I said, we'll just take the elevator down there. It'll be faster. Hope you guys are all having an awesome Friday evening. How could you not? It's Friday, huh? <laughs> uh, those of you who are just joining me, uh, we are on the last leg of our Subnautica adventure here. I've almost f completed building the rocket. And once we do that, uh, thanks to some insider tips from our new friend Biophysics, The red planets, 4546B, I thought that's what this planet was called. What's the name of the red planet? Because this is 4546B that we're on right now. The one that moves across the sky.
engine powering down. Okay, so we're gonna run down real quick to the deep Grand Reef base, and we're gonna grab some ion cubes because I have a whole mess of them down there. That's a lot faster than trying to get the sub all the way down here. Ion cubes, where are you? Here you are. We need four of you. And let's see, while we're down here, let's grab a little bit more gold and a little bit more silver. I know I have some up there. And I think that's all we need from here. So let's head on back up. Oh, voila! Love those elevators. Uh, yeah, let's just run out this way. Well, no, it's gonna be faster to go back down here. I went up one too high. Claude boy thanks for popping in man yeah the streams going going well we're having a good time and I'm almost done building the rocket so we are very close very close to the the end kind of sad actually <laughs> kind of sad and kind of exciting all at the same time the saddest thing about this stream is Due to a game bug, um, my cuttlefish died. Real big bummer, man. What happened was he glitched inside of the Cyclops, and then when I started moving, he kept slamming into the to the wall, and it and it killed him. Real big bummer. The other thing about that cuttlefish is that it swims right into your drill on the prawn. It's like, what the hell, man? He kept swimming in my drill, and uh, that so that's a little weird too. I told I finally you know told him to stay put so he wouldn't do it, but I think that's something that needs to be looked at. It wasn't just a one-time thing though. He kept over and over again swimming into the drill. <laughs> it's like, dude, don't do that. Look at that rocket, man. Did you watch Stargate Atlantis? You cured is what they ran to Earth from. And soon you'll see the islands are shielded and glow when you look through the PDA. Oh, so if I look at the islands through the PDA, they glow, is that what you're saying? Let's try that out. Yeah, they do, don't they? I never noticed that before. <coughs> Interesting. <coughs> is that is that supposed to happen? Or hey, bugger off, man. Is that supposed to happen? Uh, I mean, intentionally, or was it just something that kind of happened with the graphics? Quad boys are 30 something. You're moving up in the world, buddy.
Okay, there it is. We're working on the uh, fuel tank section at the moment. So let's just park the Cyclops right here. Engine powering down. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hate, I hate to break the news to you, man, but if you if you keep following my channel, you're going to age really quick. But on this channel, that's a good thing. We celebrate old age and old age in gaming in particular on my channel. Welcome aboard, Captain. But we sure love the, the younger folks, too, you know. It's not a, an exclusive thing by any means. Uh, all right, so we got to make four ion batteries, first of all. So let's do that. You're, you're nostalgic for decades you didn't live in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of people are actually. It's kind of funny, you know, when you when you see younger people who like, you know, really like music, for example, from, uh, you know, from the 60s and 70s and, and even the 80s. Well, hell, and even the 90s, you know, that that were not born in that era and they still, you know, enjoy the music and think it's really cool. I, I, I think that's a, a cool thing, too. I like that. Um, OK, so we need another gold and two more silver, I believe, to finish these out. I was born in 1967. So even though I was alive in the 60s, I wasn't uh, obviously aware so much. Um, but I was definitely, you know, in the 70s. Uh, was a, uh, went through my most of my childhood in the 70s, and uh, like a lot of 70s music. Of course, I was in high school in the 80s, so I'm, I'm a big 80s fan. Like all, all the cool bands, like Def Leppard and all them dudes. And really liked the 90s too. Um, that was my younger adult era. They got some good music that came out of there. What do we need? We need silicon rubber. And we don't have any in here. Okay, let's just go drop off these guys and we'll have to go snag some um, Some of the the uh, Huzuma was it's from the kelp. Resources are a little little more scarce around the shallows base because I've been playing this game for a long time. I think that's enough, but let's let's grab one more anyhow. In case we need more rubber. Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's just stock up, right? And one more. There we go. Don't have room for for that uh, scrap metal. Glowy bally things, thingies. <laughs> oh, okay. I I, I kind of wondered why why they were disguised. You know the islands there. That's good to know. Okay, so let's make, uh, we're going in here. We'll make a couple things of rubber. Um, and then we'll also make some lubricant. Let's make one more thing of rubber. And then we'll make some lube.
Okay. Now we'll put this in the crafted bin. Except for the two that we need to make the power cell. And then that'll be available to us if we need it for something else. Because I have a feeling we have at least one more uh, rocket piece that we're going to need to make. Okay, so grab the ion batteries. And let's also grab our kyanite. And our crystalline sulfur. And our plasteel. We'll make the power cells. Oh, you, your 21-year-old listens to, to uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Nice, dude. We're, we're, we've talked about maybe doing uh, uh, Don't Fear the Reaper in our band. Uh, we might do that at some point. That's a good song. All right, what do we got? We got everything we need. Yes, we do. Look at that. Isn't science wonderful? Let's go make the fuel reserve, people. Let's go do it. We are getting there. We are getting there. I think I've been doing this stream uh, for... Has it been two months or three months? Arcanist, do you know how long I've been doing this? Okay, here we go. Fuel reserve. It even says Neptune on it. Check that out. Sometimes when I'm playing this game, I hit the F5 key, you know, uh, Widow, so I can get my drone out. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't work. Or I, or I press the space bar thinking I can use my jetpack, and that doesn't work either. I'm going, oh, that's right. I'm in the wrong game. <laughs> Look at that. Very cool. Now... You know, as rockets go, that's pretty damn small. But we are in the we are in the 25th century, so I'm I'm sure the technology allows them to make the rockets much smaller. Really cool, though. It's kind of too bad we can't see it, you know, from higher up. All right, what's next? And the cockpit. Cyclops shield generator. Hey, you know what? We actually found one of those the other night in a time capsule. How fortuitous. But it's down in the deep sea base, so we're gonna have to go back down there. Okay, so, Plasteel computer chip and the generator. Um, all right, so let's make the other stuff up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make an ingot. Three months. Yep, that sounds about right. I've been playing this game for three months. And I usually stream it uh, twice a week, most of the time. Uh, there's been a couple weeks where I, where I was away on business and wasn't able to play it, but uh, I've just just really enjoyed the ride. It's such a neat game. Okay, so uh, what else we need? Computer chip is gonna need copper. Oh, glass. We got lots of glass in here. Um, I might. I just need one enamel glass. Yeah, I might have a tooth in in the shallows base. Let's go check it out. Um, I'm probably going to need... Oh, no. Okay. I don't need an arrow gel. Oh, really? I thought you, uh, you've been with me as long as I've been playing the Subnautica. Um, alright. So we need more lithium, which we have a crap ton in, of in here. Wrong way. That'll take care of our plasteel. steel. 
Do we happen to have another processor in here? I don't think I do, but I might. No. Okay, so, uh, let's see. I know we're gonna need to make a copper wire. And we're gonna need uh, one gold and two table coral samples. One gold. And I don't have table coral and I don't have a tooth. So we're gonna have to go find a tooth. Unless I have an enamel glass in here. I do not, okay. So, um, let's go ahead then and see if we can go find ourselves a tooth. And get some table coral. Okay, so we got the table coral. Go away, crash fish. And now, we need to find a tooth. Mercenary, thank you for the raid, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Old guy is um, working on building the rocket. We are almost ready to go with the rocket. I hope you and your people that joined us are having a great Friday night. Yeah, Subnautica is fantastic. I've really, I was just telling everybody right before you guys got on that uh, I've been playing this, streaming this for about three months and I've just really enjoyed every minute of it. And looking forward to, hey, is that one of those fish you were talking about? File, or uh, Bio, is that, was that one of the fish or not? Maybe, here, let's, let's look at him again. Oh, no, that's just the streamers. Okay, I know what you mean by the sparkly fish. We'll find that. Uh, we actually would probably want to stay in the kelp forest if we're going to find a tooth. But we just got to kind of cruise along the bottom. Um, and you'll find them, <clears throat> or sometimes... If you can find a stalker with a piece of metal in his mouth, um, his there's a tooth right there. Look at that, just what the doctor ordered. Um, but when they when they eat the metal, sometimes it'll knock their teeth out, and so that's how you can find find the teeth that way too. Probably should have jumped in the sea moth. It would have been a little quicker. The sea glide's one of the first pieces of machinery you make, and you use it through the whole entire game. It's very handy. This will get us our enameled glass. Oh, good deal on Shaker. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Excellent. Shaker is a um, a PUBG player. I pop in and watch her every now and then. She's a really cool person. All right, so let's make our enamel glass. And then we're gonna have to head back down to our deep sea base uh, to get that uh, shield. We need the processor too. We need to make a Pentium 7, or not a Pentium 7, an i7. Pentium 7. Pentiums are old processors. They still, they're still around though, aren't they? In some capacity, like server processors or something like that, if I recall right. Uh, all right, so let's put the stuff we don't need to take with us back in here, like we did before. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that.
Uh, yeah, I found the Cyclops shield generator in a in a time capsule on the. I think it was actually on the last stream, uh, but it's down at our deep sea base, so we gotta run back down there and grab it. Uh, maybe before we do that, though, I should get something to eat. Fish and chips. Whoops. Um, I have an extra lubricant with me, so let's put that in here. Don't need to carry that around. I'll put the titanium in here. And the quartz can go in here. There we go. Okay, back down to the Grand Reef real quick to grab that shield, and then we'll have everything we need to make the cockpit for the rocket. Pink eyed pop, a uh, pink eyed peeper. Are right, are those the ones bile that have that have the sparklies too, or is that a different thing? Xeon processors don't don't they also still have Pentiums though too, uh, like in less expensive laptops, or am I just Imagining things. Ah, oh, made her cry. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, tears of joy. I'm sure. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, that's right. That I, I remember uh, seeing that um, she was trying to get a horse with that. So she's a she's a horse person. Uh, loves horses. I mean. Uh, I don't, I don't know her really well, but I, I do know that about her, so that's really cool. I will definitely uh, congratulate her uh, next time I, t I talk to her. Hop into Firecracker's uh, Discord. But she hangs out in there. She hangs out in Woody's Discord a lot, too. I don't, I don't think I have her Discord channel myself. All right, we're going this way. That's great, though. Glad to hear that. When I finish the game, restart and run to the gun to see if you can disarm it before you get infected. Oh, <laughs> how would yeah, but how would you be able to do that? Oh, before you get infected. Oh, what if if you could do that though? Would that break the game? Seems to me like that might uh, actually not be a good thing to do. Uh, mercenary, what were you saying about the Oculus? I would play this game again um, if I if I got a VR set. I would, in fact, I would buy a VR set just to to play this game again. I wouldn't stream it though because you know it'd be the same thing to you guys. But just to play myself, that would be so cool. You can't disarm before the infection? Okay, I kind of wondered that. Because it seems to me like that if you did, it would probably break the game anyway. So we're heading over here to our, our elevator that'll take us down a half a kilometer under the ocean into the deep Grand Reef where we have our deep sea base because I have that extra Cyclops shield generator uh, down there. Wait a minute. Do I have it down here or do I have it here on the Cyclops? No, I, I, it's definitely down there. I had to think about that for a second. So we built this elevator on the last stream. Well, actually, the la it took me the last two streams because I had to get um, 500,000 metric tons of titanium to build the damn thing. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty cool. It's got like a little observation pod here that sticks out a little ways of the ocean. And then also a little tower that I can use to get up onto the island if I need to. And then this elevator will take us down uh, to the deep sea base. Oh, I 
thought I turned the... I must not have turned the scanner off for the quartz. We should do that. But yeah, but that thing goes all the way down there. Down into the deep Grand Reef. Down down to where the... near where the Degasi base is. It's pretty cool. This is a, a kind of a halfway point. Um, where it's... Uh, yeah, I was going to say textures. Hello, render. Uh, the base is down in that hole there. Uh, but this is also like a little observation point where you, I can kind of hang out here and chill and just enjoy the, the upper Grand Reef. Uh, my favorite biome in the game. So let's go all the way down. And then this is our deep sea base uh, down here in the deep Grand Reef. And you'll notice we're 509 meters down, so very, very deep. And we just built this over the last, I don't know, th three or four streams, I think it was. Let's turn this off. We don't need to know where any more quartz is. And... Uh, oh, right, but I, I want to keep that one on the Cyclops Mercenary. I've got another one. I have another one because I found uh, I actually found it the other night in a in a time capsule when we were cruising around looking for um, titanium. Uh, is it in here? I just got to remember what I did with it. Hmm. In here? No. Is it in here? No. Maybe I did keep it on the sub. Those are just extra normal batteries. Huh. Um. Black Widow, get ready for an old guy moment. I think maybe I did leave it on the sub. Because. I mean, this is a very well organized base. And if I had it in here, it would be it would be in one of these two bins. And I'm not seeing it in there. I just don't remember leaving it on the sub, though, is a thing that's got me a little confuzzled. Is it possible that I put it in one of these temporarily because I didn't have room and just forgot about it? It's like I'm having an old guy moment. <laughs> hey, Kara, thank you for the thank you for the host. Really appreciate it. How you doing tonight, hon? Widow? You weren't supposed to do the old guy moment yet. <laughs> I might still find it. Not in those guys. That's all water in there. I had salt just coming out my ears, and so I just made a bunch of the cheap water with it because I didn't want to throw it away. Not in the nickel bin, not in the old battery bin, not in the ion cubes bin, not in the titanium. Oh, you know what? Let's grab that though. We might need it for something. Well, okay. I guess I left it on the sub. Let's go back. I can't think of any pl uh, other place that it would be. No reason for it to be on the sea moth. Dan, two hours and 36 minutes so far. Time just sure goes by fast when you're playing this game. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. Okay, it's not in the miscellaneous bin. It's not in there. It's not in there. Not in there. What the hell did I do with that? Oh, 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 I know where it is. We put it back here. Huzzah! Cyclops shield generator. All right, now, Black Widow, you can give me an old guy moment for spacing that off. <laughs> that looks like I had some cubes in there, too. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Lyon. Welcome back to Subnautica. <laughs> okay, back to the uh, shallow space.
Make sure we don't run into uh, any of our structures here. Almost done with this rocket. You stole it. Oh, I bet you it's giving you the timeout on the command, huh? The old guy command. I put a timeout on that so you wouldn't spam it. <laughs> You could run the. You could run the. Um, Looks like I'm having an old guy moment. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you could run the for, forgetting forgetting something command too if you wanted to, because I definitely forgot. That's the story of my life, though, man. I'm forgetting, always forgetting stuff. They say the mind's the first thing to go. Boy, it's the truth. I'm not that bad yet, though. G give me 20 more years, though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure gonna miss this game, guys. Bio, do you have any, um... Do they have any idea when, uh, the Arctic, uh, DLC is gonna be available? Any kind of a time frame on that? Or is that a secret, or just not known? Have I scanned everything? Probably not. I, and I probably won't try to scan everything. Unless you tell me it's going to win me, like, you know, a, a new Ferrari or something. Okay, let's head over this way. There she is! There she is. What happened to um? What happened to our our mobile vehicle platform? Should be like right here where my sub is. Did I run into it and smash it? Engine powering down. A waste is a terrible thing to mind. <laughs> yep. You are absolutely right about that, my friend. I wondered if I did run over it with the sub. I w wouldn't put it past me. Does that, like, destroy it then, though? Or does it just fold up and sink to the bottom? doing tonight, Kara? Thanks for coming and hanging out on the stream. It was a pleasure to have you here. Um, okay, well, forget about the mobile vehicle platform. We probably won't ever need it again anyways. Uh, I guess we gotta go here first. We gotta get the rest of our stuff. Oh, really glad to hear that. Really glad to hear that. I'm glad you're here too. Welcome aboard, Captain. I will do my very best uh, to come and hang in on your streams when I can. Um, the thing I've noticed, though, is that you usually stream when I'm still at work or on the way home from work, so it's kind of hard to do that sometimes. But we'll make it happen. We will make it happen. Um, all right, our stuff actually is back in here. We need to get enamel glass and a computer chip. There's the computer chip, there's the enamel glass. We should have everything now to make the cockpit. We do. And we also have some crunchy coffee waiting for us. Damn, that's good. Nothing quite like crunchy coffee, I'm telling you. Uh, Alright, let's go. You know what I would like to do, though? Um, we'll go ahead and stock up on, the, you know, get the ship stocked up like Bio said. And bring a bunch of diamonds so we can pay Altera back off, the crooks. But, if you guys know where I can find another cuttlefish, I'd like to, to get another one of those. Here we go! Here we go. Our little drones are heading up there and they're making our cockpit. And I'm guessing that's the last thing we have to do to get this rocket ready to roll. 
other than get it stocked up and probably fueled up. What would it use for fuel? Probably just, um, does it need fuel or does it just use the power cells that we used when we made the... Yeah, awesome music. One rocket online. Check it out, you guys. There's the rocket. Beautiful. Let's go scope it out. Follow the elevator. Wait. Oh, this is the elevator. Okay. It's kind of like an amusement ride. Check this out. This is so cool. What is this? Communications array. Open here. Doesn't let me open it. Open storage. Okay, so, um... Does it let me put more... Communications systems array active. Pressurizing hydraulics. Is this something I should not be turning on right now, or does it matter? I'm doing it. Because after all, when you see a switch, you have to turn it on, right? Auxiliary power unit online. Okay, let's go up here. I don't want to stick my hand in that thing. Boot up the primary CPU. Prepare. Oh, this is the time capsule. Awesome. Okay. What's this do? Activate life support. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's save the game, just in case I do something stupid. Ah, okay, so that's telling me I've got to do all that stuff. Is there any harm in starting this up right now, or should I wait, Bio, or anybody that knows? Should I wait until I'm actually ready to leave before I start that stuff up? Rocket Man, yeah. <laughs> Oh right, Claude Boy. Maybe I maybe I rammed into it and it just kind of catapulted away and it's out floating in the ocean somewhere about the uh, mobile vehicle bay. About seventy percent, it's been made. Oh, you're talking about the the uh, DLC. It's been made for people who finish this, and trying to blend is hard. They're trying to have it where you can find your your old base years in the future. Oh, that's awesome. Something, but it's tricky. Have I got the egg from the big purple mushroom zone with the base? The egg from the big purple mushroom... I'm going to say no. I've been into the Koosh zone many times, but I don't remember... Oh, big purple mushroom zone. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to say probably not. Is that... Is that another... Um, Another uh, cuttlefish egg? Okay, don't sit in the seat till I want to leave. That's exactly why I saved it, because I wasn't sure. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's not... Um, let's do this. Let's start up the computer. Primary computer systems active. Very cool. Okay. And then let's start up life support. Life support systems online. All systems are go for liftoff. 
Okay, so if I sit in this chair, we're going to take off. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press escape again. Let's save the game. Because we're not actually ready to leave yet. And uh, um, I need to... Oh, wow, look at that. That is cool. I need to take a very quick AFK, guys. Um, so I will be back in about uh, three to five minutes or so. Uh, while I'm away, I'll put some music on for you guys. And then when, when we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and do some make some final preparations and, and uh, load up on some diamonds and stuff and have bio you know kind of guide us uh, through uh, what we need to do because um, he's got he's got a little bit of an inside line uh, to this game uh, which is really cool uh, but i need to go use the restroom uh, get a new beer and all that kind of thing so i will be right back i'll put some music on for you in the meantime and just hang 10 and i'll be right back
no, no, no. That's why. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just sat in the seat. Uh, all right. That's why we saved. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, shit. Okay, that was close. I just hit the button and I sat in the seat. I probably shouldn't have been facing it when I saved the game. <laughs> oh, man. Um, thank you, Kara. Arcanus, I do not have mods. Uh, mods don't have any more stats than anybody else. Um, but yeah, I probably do need to go in and yeah, tweak that. I just kind of set it up initially and haven't really done much more with it. But we have, um, we have three monsters. Is it three or four? Let me look. Press the activation button in the next three seconds. You have chosen not. All systems are good. Yeah, we uh, we have three bosses. Uh, one of them is called Old Grumpy. One of them is Geriatric Ghoul, and one of them is Granny Tyranny. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I kind of I, I punched those in and did a couple numbers, but I haven't really tweaked them. So, uh, but. You guys, uh, mods don't have any more stats than anybody else. Everybody has the same amount of stats, and it's just the default stats uh, that the minigame offers. So. All right. Um, uh oh. Ah, oh, shit, it did it again. This might be a problem. We might have a problem here because I have to click on the screen to activate it in, you know, the icons on the chair. Let's try this again. Um, hmm. Damn it, I shouldn't have been looking at the chair when I saved it. I completely didn't even think about that. Maybe it was because I was tapped out. So I'm not gonna tab out because I was looking at the monster the monster thing. And then I can just should be able to just turn my mouse away from the chair. Thank god I saved it though, huh? Holy crap. And capturing body moisture to chemically neutralize residual odors and bodily fluids before re-ingestion. Please press the activation button. There we go. Okay. Let's let's not be looking at the chair. And let's save. <laughs> Okay. Whew, that was close. Thank you and have a nice day. All right. So, um, as far as the time capsule capsule goes, okay. Let's let's see. Now, Bio, help me out here. What what do I need to do? What do I need to do before I go? In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's make a list. How about the sunbeam exploding? Yeah. Um, I heard somebody was was kind of along the same lines of the cure ideas to see if they could get, you know, get the gun turned off before the sunbeam arrives, but I heard that, that it doesn't matter. Okay, you have you haven't used time capsule, so you won't take off. And yeah, of course I've disarmed the gun. Um, I, I wouldn't. You can't. It doesn't give you the uh, rocket launch platform until after you do that. Uh, so, so that's a uh, you know that's already been done. So you're saying if I don't do the time capsule, it won't let me take off even if I sit in the seat? I thought you said as soon as I sit in the seat, it'll take off. I'm I'm confused. <laughs> as usual. There is a way to save the sunbeam. You have to, you have to play to the point that you disarm the gun without using the radio, and then use it. Oh, and mercenary saying that's not the case. Okay, well, time capsule is optional now. 
Oh, put upgrades in the time castle. Actually, that's a very good idea. Well, okay, before we do that then, um... I guess it would make sense then t to just take all the upgrades off of my existing vehicle since I'm not ever going to use them again once I leave, right? But if that's the case, before we do that, let's go see if we can find another cuttlefish. Let's grab all the diamonds that we can possibly stock up on the ship. Will it let me uh, build wall lockers on here? Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess so much for that idea. So every, everything we're going to take is going to have to fit in these little storage bins. So we have one, two, three, four. We have four. So let's load those things up with diamonds. Hey, Chops, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming and hanging out, buddy. How's your Friday going, man? So, Bio, a question for you. Um... The stuff that I can carry... Awesome, man. Thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Is Chop stalking you, Kara? <laughs> well, he's a good man to have stalking you. Um, so, Bio, so if I understand you right, the only, th the only things that items that I can use in the, in the DLC is what I put in the time capsule. Is that what you're telling me? And if so, what's the advantage then of, of filling up these storage bins? That I scan the cuttlefish. Oh, hell, probably. Let's find out. Indigenous life forms, fauna. Um, probably small herbivores? Wouldn't be those guys. Is it a carnivore? It wouldn't be a large. Oh, yeah, I did. There it is. That's a large herbivore? I wouldn't call that a large herbivore. Oh, Chops, <laughs> you brown noser. <laughs> That's funny, though. Um, okay, so back to my question. Have to use the built-in storage lithium and diamonds. Why lithium? I understand diamonds, but why lithium, Claude Boy? Is it... But my question, though, is everything I put in the storage is... If I can't use that in the next DLC, what's the point in doing that? I, I missed something. I missed something there. I know we need the diamonds to pay back, um, uh, you know, to pay back um, Altera. Woo! Nice swan dive. Well, it wasn't a swan dive, but kind. We can we can pretend it was. So let's go, let's go grab diamonds. Right back, Gary. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, we happen to have quite a bit of lithium. Oh, I still don't understand what the point is other than paying Altera off why I would load that stuff up if I can't use it in the DLC. Or maybe I can use it in the DLC, in which case what's the point of the time capsule then? You see what I mean? I need somebody to enlighten me. We have more gems uh, down in the deep sea base as well. Um, Claude Void, why, why lithium again? Why would I not just stock up on diamonds if, if the idea is that, you know, I'm, I'm paying back, um, 
Altera. Welcome back, Kara. I should probably take some ion cubes with me. I think um, Bio mentioned that earlier. Wow. Holy crap, Claude boy. Dude, thank you so much, man. <laughs> Oh man, you know what that means? You know what that means, don't you? It means that that means that old guy has to now. <laughs> it means that I have to write a song, a, a ditty for Clodvoy and perform it on stream. <laughs> That's the deal. If someone did a large donation like that. Dude, thank you so much. Oh my god, that is very, very generous of you. Thank you so much, man. I, I don't, <laughs> God, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yep, an old guy Diddy. That's the deal. Um, what's the command for that, Arcanus? Let's look at that. So, I use a ranking system here in the channel, and it's based upon an age theme, you know, old guy gaming, right? And so, people that, um, I am old, man. Damn straight. And, and by the way, welcome to the stream, Irish Force. Uh, no, that's not the command I wanted. Uh, what? Is, which is the command? Um. Hold on one second here. I just set these up like over last weekend, so I'm trying to remember which one it is. Do 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 do. -do. Is that it? Hold on a sec. No, that talks about points. Here, let's try this. Oh, maybe, maybe I changed that, Arcanus, now that you mention it. Black Widow, you have no rank. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I did change that. But you know what? Since I since I told Claude, Claude Boy I would do that anyway, we're going to do it anyway. So here's the deal. Uh, since Claude Boy is um, my highest donator uh, to date in all the, the many years I've been streaming, <laughs> LOL, um, He's, uh, we're going to make a special exception for him, and um, old guy's going to write a little ditty, and I'm going to grab my guitar, and the next time we do a stream uh, and Claude Voice shows up, we're going we're gonna to sing him a little song. Um, thank you, man, for that donation. That, that is super generous. I so appreciate that. You are awesome sauce. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is, that's funny. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's what the deal was. We were we were talking about putting it in, then we just uh, we decided not to do that. Um, but we will do it for Claude Boy for sure. Okay. Anyway, back to uh, back to business here. So, Bio, you're saying what you put in the time capsule, you find later, 
and what you store comes off of what you owe and you keep the extra stuff when you when you crash uh, diamonds are not worth much there get alien tech So you're saying that, oh, 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 okay. So the idea is that when we start the Arctic DLC, we're gonna be in, in the rocket and we're gonna crash again. How sucky is that? <laughs> really? <laughs> um, and so anything that I put in the rocket I'll be able to use again when I crash, except for the, the, the money that I owe Altera. How in the hell does Altera get the money out of the ship if I don't even make it back in the first place? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what then. Um, I think I've, from based upon everything you're telling me, it sounds to me like the time capsule is the most important thing because apparently I can find that later. And if I put all my best upgrades in there, um, you know, then I'll have them. But before and, and I'm not going to I'm not going to remake all that stuff. That stuff is really a pain in the ass to make and very expensive. I might have the stuff to do it. I might not. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to take one last cruise in the Cyclops. And we're gonna try and find another, um, another cuttlefish. And so one of you was saying that there's a base in the shroom zone that has a cuttlefish egg, and I do not remember seeing that. Okay, so we're gonna head over there. We could even maybe. What time is it? Ah, oh, shit! It's midnight already. Damn it! Uh, we might have to do one more stream, you guys. We might have to do one more stream. Um, but let's do this. Let's let's go. Let's go see if we can find a, a cuttlefish egg first. And then I think what I'm going to have to do is I've got to I've got to uh, meet uh, some of my band members tomorrow morning for breakfast, like really super freaking early in the morning. And then I have a full day of streaming tomorrow, so I can't stay up until three in the morning. I just can't do it. I'm too old for that shit. But let's let's cruise over to the shroom biome really quick. And see if we can find that cuttlefish egg. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap the stream up for tonight. And then we'll come back um, probably on Sunday afternoon uh, or Sunday evening. Because that's typically when I uh, stream Subnautica again. And we will um, we'll, we'll do one last hurrah. So we'll, we'll cruise around the map. We'll go back down to the lava zone one more time and smack the, uh, the sea dragon on the ass. Uh, go check out those tunnels underneath the Lost River uh, that Bio was talking about. And just, you know, have one more one more jaunt around the place before we take off. Sound good? Uh, what am I doing in here? I'm here to get something to eat. So let's grab some chow really quick. And if you guys cannot uh, make it for that stream, you know, you can always... The, the VOD will be up the, too, but it would uh, be really cool to have you if you can make it. So that's what our, our plan is. But let's do um, definitely put let's definitely put what we have in, in the way of diamonds and all that. Oh, you guys were saying lithium was worth a lot too. So, so let's go grab that. Welcome aboard, Captain. We'll grab the ion cubes uh, that we have in the deep sea base as well, and or we'll we'll go mine some more up in the in the lava zone. What about kyanite though? Wouldn't kyanite be worth more than diamonds and, and all that kind of stuff? Oh, uh, that'd be awesome, Kara. I would love to have you. You are more than welcome anytime I'm streaming. Very much. I'll, I'll tell you guys a little a little something about arrows of Kara. Arrows of Kara was the the very first person to watch me when I started streaming. The very first person to watch me. So she kind of holds a little bit of a special place in the old guy's heart uh, for that reason. And she's a very awesome person. 
And by the way, um, a arrow, uh, Akira is also a streamer herself, so let's give her a shout out. You guys, when you get a chance, go check out her channel. Give her a follow, and um, she's she's a really cool, cool streamer, really nice person. Uh, hang out with her on Discord, and um, you won't be disappointed. She's really cool. Um, also, while we're in the process of doing shoutouts, I also will give my good buddy, the Mighty Chops, a shoutout. And this guy is. An amazing man because he's a talented streamer very entertaining to watch uh, just love watching chops shows and I'm not bullshitting you guys he really is fun to watch he's a cool guy very energetic very positive streamer but the other thing I'll tell you about chops is he's also an author and he's already published one book on Amazon and uh, he's working on his second book and I have read that book and I thoroughly enjoyed it so if you guys are interested at all, um, go follow Chops, the Mighty Chops as well. And uh, Chops, go ahead and feel free if you want to, buddy, uh, to put the link to your book uh, in the chat so the peeps can uh, can go check it out. He needs landmines. <laughs> okay. All right, what are we doing? We're going to go look for a cuttlefish. And we're going to do that in the shroom biome. Where the hell is the shroom biome? I know there's a little one over by the Aurora, and then there's a bigger one. Where is that bigger one? I want to say it's probably in the south, right? Just let's go scope that out. Oh, hell, don't run into the rocket platform, old guy. That thing is so awesome looking. I love it. Okay, so let's head... Um... Actually, I think it's west, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't want to take a waygate. Waygates are... Uh, are, are they're kind of cool, but let's just... We, you know, we're not going to be able to drive Psy very much longer. And so let's just spend some more time with... with Cyclops here because he's gonna miss the hell out of us when we leave he really will He's really done a good job of um, getting us around in Subnautica We even sang We all live in a yellow submarine when we first made made Cy and, and decided to paint him yellow So we just want to spend as much time with him as we can before we take off, so screw the damn waygates. <laughs> Not that it was a bad suggestion; it was a great suggestion. But uh, I just want to hang out in my in my cyclops just a little bit longer before we have to say goodbye. It's kind of damn sad, isn't it? it kind of brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> we should probably go punch out a leviathan one more time too before we leave, just because we can. Um, I've killed two ghost leviathans and a reaper. And I hear one uh, bellowing off in the distance. That's the blood kelp zone. But guys, where is where is the big shroom biome? Is it west of the Aurora? I don't remember. I completely don't remember. Because our heading right now is, well, southwest. Well, there's there's a <clears throat> there's a smaller mushroom biome north, and it's up by the Aurora. Bio, is that the one you're talking about, or, or whoever told me about the cuttlefish earlier? The scanner room can look for eggs. Yeah, that's true. It can. Uh, but my, the only scanner room I have built is down in the in the deep Grand Reef, though. Uh-oh. Somebody tried to post a link and they weren't supposed to. Um, okay, well, let's see here.
I think this is gonna go down into blood kelp ish area. Yeah, yeah, okay, so this isn't the way we want to go. So, I want to say... What's our heading? East. Yeah, let's go east. And we'll see if we can um, locate that mushroom biome. What are you putting in there, Black Widow? <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose I could do that. Uh, just make another room. But the thing is, though, is like it, you know, like um, someone else was saying, it's going to show every single egg there is, and not just that egg. So that might be a little bit of information overload. Hey, Clover, thank you for the raid, man, and welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome, Raiders. Are we playing some more um, Darkest Dungeon tonight, buddy? Oh, the, the, that one, yeah, man. <laughs> that is a funny clip. That was crazy, man, when that happened. The depths are treating me pretty good, man. We are almost ready to leave the planet. Uh, we just finished building the rocket. And I'm kind of just on the last little bit of the uh, of the playthrough here. We've decided what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, see, this is getting down into the Grand Reef. We're going to come back on Sunday afternoon uh, to finish it up. Uh, because it's, it's already after midnight and I've got to get up early tomorrow. And go have breakfast with my buds. And then have a full day of streaming, so... I need to uh, get a little bit of sleep tonight. Uh, but we are kind of doing a, a quick look-see for the mushroom biome, if I can remember where the damn place is. May, you know, maybe we should actually just use the gateway. I don't know. But what I'm looking for specifically is another cuttlefish because the one that I initially found, uh, the poor little bugger died due to a stupid game bug, no less. And I want to take one with me so that when the DLC comes out, I'll have him. That's the idea anyway. And I know the mushroom biome is not, you know, it's not really far out. It's not like on the very edges of the map either. So I'm kind of thinking if we just kind of skirt the outer edges of the kelp forest that we'll probably come across it. Hey, there's one of those. Did I just see one of those pink-eyed um, peepers? Or am I just imagining things? Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, mister. Bam! That was close. Probably wouldn't have done anything, but you never know. Mask can take you right to the... Oh, you mean the overlay? All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's... Since we're kind of over here the thing is though is my scanner room what, what do we need to make a scanner room let's start there if 
five titanium, two copper, a gold, and a table. And then we need all the upgrades too, though. We could go pull the upgrades out of the deep sea base. But let's let's head down there. And we'll we'll make another one and we'll grab all the upgrades cuz I don't really need the one that's down here anymore or at least I don't need the range on it. And then we'll go plop it down um once we find the the mushroom biome we'll plop it down there and then we'll use it to to look for eggs. Sound like a plan? Because the egg that I found, I found down in the Lost River. And we'll head back down there and we'll, we'll do one more trip down into the Lava Zone on Sunday stream. And we'll punch out another uh, Reaper. Or, or Ghost, doesn't matter, either one. On Sunday stream too. Just, to, just as one last hurrah. So you guys won't want to miss it. Make sure you're around on Sunday. Let's say, let's shoot for... Um, well, I actually I need I need to um, I need to discuss that with my uh, with my wife first because uh, she she wants to do something on Sunday. I just don't know what the time of it, of it is. So we'll head down to the deep sea base here. We'll get the scanner upgrades. We'll make another scanner room, or rather, we'll get the. Um, all the stuff we need to make the scanner room. And then I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up for tonight and we'll finish up on Sunday. I got the first cuttlefish egg in the in the Lost River uh, in the laboratory. It's kind of in that area where all the roots and stuff are. Uh, not, it, I think it's called the laboratory or something to that effect. It's not too terribly far away from the um, the research facility. park right over our vent here so we can get our thermal generators charging the sub back up even though we're at 99 percent man you gotta love those ion power cells i'll tell you what they are awesome did i start tripping when i ate the blue balls with purple spikes kush bush i don't think i've tried that <laughs> I'm not not usually in the habit of uh, eating eating kush balls. Are you uh, should I sh are you telling me I need to do that because it's gonna do something funny? Ah, oh, damn it! Forgot to put the diamonds in the in the uh, rocket. Old guy moment. Come on, Black Widow, let's do it. I'm just gonna dump all this in here now, and we'll put it in the rocket um, on Sunday. Let's drink some pea water. Yum yum. Um, okay, so we are here. To jack all of our um, upgrades from the scanner room. You know, just, just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. Let's just turn that on for a minute and see what happens. You got your butts kicked tonight, Clover, in uh, dungeons? Man, that game's pretty brutal sometimes, isn't it, man? It's fun watching you play it, though. Oh, the Degasi base. Really? That's just right... That's here. Let's go look at it.
That's just right over here. We'll have to see if the uh, if the crab squid spawns in. If he does, we'll, we might need to go back and get the cyclops and punch him out. Dude, look at that. There's an egg in there. Arcanus? Arcanus? You might you might be uh, getting some old guy points here for free. How the hell do I get down there? I can't remember. Oh. That looks like a cuttlefish egg to me, you guys. I think we found it. Yeah, that's it. All right, Black Widow, give uh, Arcanus um, 100 old guy points, please. Actually, he can probably give himself 100 old guy points. <laughs> good call, dude. Very good call. All right. Now, how do I get out of here? Guess I go this way. Oh, there's old crab squid there. Nice, man. Thank you, Arcanus, for mentioning that. That uh, saves us a lot of time. You the man. Basinga. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, so let's see here. Now... I don't think I don't think I'm gonna hatch the egg let's just take the egg and leave it in egg form because one of the things I notice about the cuttlefish is once I let him go um, out into the wild it, the game wouldn't let me pick him back up it would let me play with him but it would let me pick him back up so all right well played guys well played so let's turn this off. Um, we could have looked for some diamonds, maybe. Well, now let's not worry about that right now. Okay, so. Um, Yeah, bio. Sorry, man. I, I've been I've been playing this for three months, and I, you know, I've just had so much fun playing this game. It it is just such the neatest game, guys. And I will definitely be back um, when the DLC comes out. I promise you, I will be back streaming this when the DLC comes out. Absolutely. And um, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. And you know, all all my vods are available, and I've also. Um, Oh, good night, Kara. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate having you on the channel. Um, you have a great, uh, great sleep tonight, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Um, so, so you you can um, see the vods. Um, some of the earliest ones are actually on my YouTube channel, and that should be here if you're interested. But then I also have, you know, the last 60 days worth of VODs here on Twitch, too, if, if you're interested in watching those. I know it's not the same as watching it live, but uh, it is definitely um, a, an option if you want to want to see it. But uh, like I said, just had a lot of fun uh, playing this game for sure. So, guys, what we're going to do um, is we're going to go ahead and wrap it up tonight. Um, so Sunday... Um, Probably Sunday evening, I'm going to say. Um, so probably what will happen is uh, wifey and I will probably go have an early dinner. Um, we were supposed to go have dinner tonight, but it didn't work out. So we're going to do that on Sunday. And then when I get back from that, I'm going to say roughly around 6-ish or so. Um, we will come back. We'll have um, one last cruise around the map. Uh, we'll punch out a Leviathan. We'll go back down, visit the Lava Zone one more time, check out these tunnels underneath the Lost River. Uh, that Bio was talking about, and um, 
fill up the time capsule with our best modules and then, and then we'll, we'll take off to the stars so really looking forward to that it'll be our last stream and um, if you guys are around I'd love to have you come and hang out Um. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, bio. I have I have links turned off um, for people who aren't regulars because I was having some problems with um, some trolls and stuff. Uh, but send that link, uh, whisper that link to me. Or actually, here, let's do this. Let's try this. Um, I'm typing that right. Okay, go ahead and post the link again, uh, Bio. And anyway, uh, yeah, so let's let's plan on um, uh, reconvening uh, early Sunday evening. Uh, again, I'm I'm going to give you a tentative around six, but I can't promise that. But it'll be as close as possible to six, and we'll finish this out. Yeah, let's go do another Sea Dragon Surf. Exactly, Claude Voy. I, I think we'll do that, too. And we'll have just, you know, like I said, one last hurrah with the game. And then um, we'll jump on that rocket and we'll take off in, in the series. And it'll be a sad time and it'll also be a fun time, too. So, guys, thank you so much. Um, oh, well, it must have interpreted what you typed as a link then. Um, it's, it's just chatbot being stupid is all. <laughs> um, anyway, um, thanks a lot for hanging out tonight. And Claude Voy, man, thank you so much again for, for that donation. That was super generous generous of you. I owe you a song, and so we're going to come up with a song uh, for you. And uh, if you are around Sunday, uh, we'll go ahead and, and play that. <laughs> and just have some fun with that, too, um, in appreciation uh, for that donation. And um, you guys have a great rest of your night, and I will see you. Uh, on Sunday. Well, actually, I'll be streaming tomorrow, too, so if you're around, come and hang out. We're going to be doing Empyreon and Seven Days to Die tomorrow, um, so if you guys want to watch any of that, love to have you there, too, but for this game, um, we'll do it again uh, on Sunday afternoon, okay? So, yeah, yeah, I know. It, it didn't like that for some reason, so anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow or, or not Sunday, and um, have a good evening.